So what did you think when Gabriel, my producer, first reached out to you with the request to meet about potentially collaborating on a documentary with me? Oh, I think my first thought was no. When you're making a film like Here's the World, right, you have all the options in the world. You can do reenactments, you can do interviews, you can do anything. And it really just came back to the idea for us that nobody knows anything about Satanism and Satanists and who they are. And so we figured that was the focus. Let's talk to them. I had the hope that we could do some kind of project like this, of course. I just didn't have very high hopes for it because we had gotten people pitching documentaries to us quite a bit. And all those pitches were fairly insulting. These were pitches that really wanted to do a reality TV type exploration of the Satanic Temple. What happened to you in your childhood that made you this way? Right, exactly. So I think you probably remember those were the parameters I set right up front was that people to be aware of the issues and really hopefully bring them into an awareness of what these issues mean to them in their own lives and not turn it into some kind of vanity project for any of us. Your lack of ego was very striking. I really came to understand that you were like, if you were a cult leader, you were like the worst fucking cult leader ever. Because you like didn't particularly relish attention. In the documentary world, there's ideas about the proper relationship between, you know, the filmmaker and the quote unquote subject. Like I almost felt like I was supposed to be more objective, I guess, about uh, the work you do. I'm not, I'm like a fan. I I love this movement. I I love the work you're doing. The people that I've met have changed my life and inspired me. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, pretend that's not true? I was very aware of the difficulty you were in, (laughs) that kind of journalistic standard where you're supposed to see the other side as well. But there's not, there's not just one other side, is there, right? Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of conspiracy theories about the Satanic Temple, about who I am Mm -hmm. and about what the true meaning is of what we do. And it's not just from evangelical theocrats. from even sometimes other Satanists. Yeah, right. How did you think about the idea of collaboration in relationship to me and to the film? Oh, we had to collaborate, right? And it's not just me. A lot of the people who work with the Satanic Temple, uh, they did so at their own peril, especially in the 80s and 90s during the Satanic Panic. A lot of people going to prison on ludicrous claims of satanic cult crimes that they never had any part of that never actually took place at all. So it certainly is a real liability to identify this way. You were very nervous. I was very nervous too. And of course I was trying to balance having full trust in you with not having full trust in anybody. (laughs) And I didn't know what narrative course it was taking. No clue. You want people who see the film to find their place in the story, to see where they fit into it. I think that's really important. The ability we have to express ourselves on the public ground says something about who we are now as a nation, whether we relegate people to second class status because of their beliefs. That has ramifications for everybody, whether they identify with Satan or not.